Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma, a homeschooling mum of three in the UK. And today, Saturday, so it's blog day. I always wanna say vlog and then I go to say vlog and it doesn't feel right, it's weird. I have had a really, really cool day and I hope you've had all had a really good day as well. Um, I actually ended up spending the entire afternoon with some very dear friends of mine who are helping me with my horses and, I, and I, I had an amazing ride on one of my ponies and my friend's daughter had a really nice ride on one of my other ponies and we just had a really nice time. Um, it was the first time that my friend's daughter had got back into the saddle for a while after the uh, unfortunate death of their pony and it was really nice to see her getting to know uh, my pony and getting a bond with him and he really needs that he really needs someone and my kids just aren't as horsey as this child is and she's she's a special girl and it was really nice to see it just you know warmed the cockles of my heart um obviously i got some nice time with my pony the one that's really my mine the one that i ride um it's just nice i feel really chilled and relaxed I had a hot chocolate and i'm really chilled and uh yeah i just uh I wanted to come and have a chat with you guys about parent burnout because I've really been feeling that the last few days and today I feel the most relaxed and chilled I have in a really long time and I really think that I've kind of cracked it for me like how to get back from that burnout so I think every parent feels burnout and for me I get really tired and drained and then I get really snappy and I'm not the mother that I want to be. I don't like the mother I am when I'm burnt out. I'm really horrible to everyone, not just my kids, my husband as well. And I try and be nice to other people and end up making mistakes, like social mistakes and ugh. Um, and that kind of happened to me on Facebook over over this week and I ended up getting really upset about it. And my, um, But yeah, like, I've just been really drained and just been doing too much full-on caring for like for a really long time and just needed a break just needed a break and today was I did not think was going to be a break this afternoon I thought that um maybe I wouldn't it wouldn't be what it was but actually spending time with some really dear friends who I suspect the more we are together will become closer friends to us which is perfect because they're wonderful people um and um, their child's already very important to us. I think it's only gonna, you know, that that um, those feelings are only gonna grow. Just spending time with them was really quite relaxing and really nice. And spending time with the horses was re obviously it was relaxing and nice. And uh, yeah, so I think that I was wondering what when you're feeling really burnt out and then you end up being really snappy and grumpy with your children or your significant other, or your friends, or your family, whatever, what do you do to bring yourself back to a place of being okay again? Um, mine is, or has always been spending time with my horses and having a bit of chockey and having a bath, and, and I was, was having maybe alone time, but actually I think maybe as an extrovert that my um, wind-down time can also be connection like connecting with other people um just either with maybe alone with my husband or with other families or even with other people's children who aren't mine because it, it changes the dynamic of things like you're not caring for them in that way like it's not the emotional like heaviness of caring for your own children um yeah so what do you do when you're burnt out and exhausted and um how do you how do you get past that that's what i'd like to know today um, it's not a hugely long video because it's late and I'm tired. I would really love to know how you manage that and what you've been up to this weekend. What have you been doing? So I worked this morning, um, did some stuff on the computer and then obviously we were at the our fields and then tomorrow go, we're going out for breakfast with my godmother who's coming um, to see us, who's come down from Devon which is really nice. We don't see her hugely often because she lives so far away so when we do see her it's really exciting, the kids love her and I love her to pieces. Um, so yeah I'm really excited about that and then I don't think we're really going to do much in the afternoon, 
probably tidy the house and then get things ready for the kids all starting their activities back tomorrow which i am so, tomorrow monday which i'm so grateful for i am so excited um to have monday to myself well kind of to myself just me and albert i'm hoping i can convince him to nap and then i can nap too <laughs> but i doubt that'll happen but yeah just i might take him to costa for a cheeky little chocolate hot chocolate or a coffee or something obviously i'm not going to give coffee to my kid but yeah you get me um yeah what are your plans for this weekend tell me pop me a comment or say hi to me on instagram let's be friends and let's have a chat um it's nice talking to you and i will see you on tuesday for a home ed video which is going to be different styles of home editing and hopefully i'm going to try and get some um clips of other people who do other ways of home editing to talk to you about so we'll see um have a great rest of the weekend and i'll see you on tuesday bye